Hello, today we focus on functions and you might be given a situation where f of x equals 2x minus 1 for x values defined on real numbers and g of x equals x minus 1 all over x plus 1 for real numbers except negative 1. You can then be required to find the composite function f g of x. That simply means substitute g of x in f. And so we'll be talking of 2 g of x minus 1, which should give 2 into x minus 1 all over x plus 1 minus 1. This gives 2x minus 2 all over x plus 1 minus 1. The LCM is x plus 1 and we have 2x minus 2 minus x minus 1. Therefore, fg of x equals x minus 3 all over x plus 1 and this is defined for real numbers except negative 1. That is the composite function. Another situation might arise in which they give the composite function and then ask you to find one of the functions in the composition. There are two cases. The case where g of x is given and you are asked to find f or the case where f is given and you are asked to find g of x. So let's look at the two cases. In the first case, we are given that the composite function g of x equals x minus 3 all over x plus 1 and that f of x equals 2x minus 1. Find g of x. I have decided to use the functions that we have just found the composition up so that you see clearly how the results come out. In the case where it is the function g of x that is required because actually f g of x means perform g and then f so when it is the function in the first command that is asked it is easier than when it is this function in the second command in this case we simply let g of x to be some y so that would g of x being x minus 3 all over x plus 1 should then become f of y equals x minus 3 all over x plus 1. And f of y simply means substitute y in f. So we get 2y minus 1 equals x minus 3 all over x plus 1, implying that 2y equals x minus 3 all over x plus 1 plus 1. Our aim is to make y the subject. Once we make y the subject, it gives us the g of x which we are looking for. So 2y should be equal to x minus 3 plus 1 into x plus 1 all over x plus 1. That gives x minus 3 plus x and then plus 1 all over x plus 1. That should give 2x minus 2 all over x plus 1. Therefore, 2y equals 2x minus 2 all over x plus 1. And that is equal to 2 into x minus 1 
all over x plus 1. So the tools cancel on both sides and we see that y equals x minus 1 all over x plus 1 which is equal to g of x the original function that we started with is you might instead be given the composite function and then it is g of x that means the function in the first command that is given and then f of x the function in the second command that is asked in this case again we start with f g of x equals x minus 3 all over x plus 1 we need but f of x and so to find f of x we need to eliminate g of x to eliminate g of x we simply find the inverse of g of x and substitute it all over the expression there so actually f g of g inverse of x should be equal to g inverse of x minus 3 all over g inverse of x plus 1 what we notice now is that g of g inverse of x just reduces to x so that we end up with f of x on the left hand side equals g inverse of x minus 3 all over g inverse of x plus 1 so our task now is to look for g inverse of x and then substitute on the right hand side there and that would give us directly our f of x to have g inverse of x i would let g itself which is x minus 1 all over x plus 1 to be some y so that x minus 1 equals y into x plus 1 and my aim is to make x the subject in this expression whatever comes out in terms of y is an expression that represents g inverse so x minus 1 equals xy plus y so that x minus xy equals y plus 1 and x into 1 minus y equals y plus 1 so that x equals y plus 1 all over 1 minus y therefore g inverse of x equals x plus 1 all over 1 minus x defined on the set of real numbers except 1 so we take now this g inverse of x and substitute in the expression that we had here for f of x f of x then should be equal to g inverse of x being x plus 1 all over 1 minus x minus 3 all over x plus 1 all over 1 minus x plus 1 we find the LCM at the numerator we get 1 minus x x plus 1 minus 3 into 1 minus x all over x plus 1 plus 1 into 1 minus x all over 1 minus x the denominators of the two fractions at the numerator and denominator are the same so they cancel so over 1 minus x cancels over 1 minus x and I just get x plus 1 minus 3 plus x plus 3x sorry all over x plus 1 plus 1 minus x this gives 4x minus 2 all over so x minus x is 0 and 1 plus 1 is 2 this should give 2 into 
2x minus 1 all over 2 and 2 cancels. Therefore, f of x equals 2x minus 1. And that is the original function that we started with. In other questions under functions, you might be asked to find the element that maps onto itself under the function f. In that case, if an element maps onto itself, it means the element and its image are the same. If that element is a, then f of a should just be equal to a. So that we can now say 2a minus 1 equals a and 2a minus a equals 1 means a equals 1. So the element that maps onto itself under the function f is 1. In some situations, you can be asked fg of 2 to find the value of fg of 2. In this situation, we already found fg of x. So if we substitute 2 in the function, we get fg of 2. And that would simply be 2 minus 3 all over 2 plus 1, which gives negative 1 all over 3. But there is another way of looking at it. If I have to find fg of 2, it is the same as first finding g of 2 and then substituting it in f. So it would depend on the situations. There are some questions where you would need, for example, in paper 1 or even in paper 2, not necessarily find fg of x before getting fg of a particular number. And so here we start with g of 2 first, substituting 2 in g, we get 2 minus 1 all over 2 plus 1, which is 1 third. And so we can now say that f g of 2 becomes f of g of 2, and g of 2 is 1 third. We now substitute 1 third in f, and f being 2x minus 1, we get 2 into 1 all over 3 minus 1 which is simply 2 third minus 1 and it gives negative 1 over 3 the same result that we had up there are also situations where you could be asked to find g inverse of 3 if I'm asked to find g inverse of 3 and I know g inverse of 3 already from previous work. I can substitute. But there is another way to turn around and get the value. Remember, this actually means find the element whose image is 3 under the function g. So let us first get g inverse of 3. And we had g inverse already. It gave us x plus 1 all over 1 minus x. So g inverse of 3 should then be 3 plus 1 all over 1 minus 3, which gives 4 all over negative 2, and that gives negative 2. The, the other way we can look at the equation is that g inverse of 3 actually means find the element whose inverse is 3. And so I can talk of the element being a certain p, then g of p should be equal to 3. So that implies I can find g inverse of 3 without necessarily finding g inverse of x first, because it's quite a long process. So if you are asked to find g inverse of 3, simply find g of p equals, simply express as g of p equals 3, and then you find p. It gives you the same result. This would imply that I substitute p in g. That gives p minus 1 
all over p plus 1 equals 3 implying p minus 1 equals 3 p plus 3 and we have that negative 2 p equals 4 implying that p equals 4 over negative 2 which gives negative 2 the same result that we had up